created by using LA Colors Ice Pigment Powder called Glam that looks like this right here. This ice pigment is what was used to help to create the eye look in which you're seeing and if you want to know more on how to achieve this eye look by using this LA Colors Ice Pigment right here then keep watching the video and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later dolls! Hey doll, sharing a few things with you. The cape that is from Dollar Tree. The LA Colors 12 color palette, Magnificent Purple. And I'm also using the Drama Tea Dark Angel Eyelashes, the ones on top. I'm also using, now, oh, these are the loose pigments. However, I'm using them as highlights. Yes, as highlighters. The one I used before was Radiant. And today I will be using Honeysuckle. It is an eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use it as a highlight and show you how. And I will be using the LA Colors Duo Lipstick and Lip Gloss in the color called Natural. And for the main attraction, this is the Ice Pigment in the color called Glam. So excited. Let's get started. So I'm going to start out by priming my entire mobile area eye. I'm using my Wet n Wild Primer and I'm going to blend this with my fingertips, taking it all the way up towards my brow bone area. Once I complete that step, I'm then going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in a color called Medium Deep. I'm using this as a base for a solid colored canvas and it helps as a great transitional color to help my eyeshadows to blend more easily. If you've seen my makeup videos before, then you already know my MAC Cosmetic Settle Brown. I use this to separate the brow bone from the crease color. I'm using a fluffy blending brush to put this directly into the crease to warm my eye up for the next application of color, which is the palette absolutely is loving this LA Colors palette I'm putting it directly into the crease and I'm keeping it very low glam dolls not taking it up towards the brow bone sticking it right there directly on the crease LA Colors have really stepped up their game and the quality of their eyeshadows can now rival designer brands but at a fraction of their cost so with the fluffy blending brush I'm putting it directly into the crease in a windshield type motion making sure I blend this out as I apply it. Next, I'm using my e.l.f. Cosmetics Duo Cream Eyeshadow in the color called Black Licorice. I'm taking the black side, which is what will help make the eyeshadow pop, and I'm using my fingertips to apply it only on the mobile area of the eye. I'm not taking it up towards the crease. I'm keeping it very low. Going back into the palette with the flat shader brush, I'm taking the purple color, and you see that? Yeah. Using the black base is what really helps to make this eyeshadow pop that much more vibrant. These shadows are not chalky when applied and it's super pigmented. But here's the ice pigment which is the main attraction. I am so obsessed with this. I'm taking a black shader brush and I'm also taking my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spritz it about two times and this is where the magic happens. OMG. I see why they call this ice pigment the color and quality of this pigment is insane so vibrant when applied i'm using a flat shader brush to make sure i really pack this on and put it on the mobile area of the eye i repeated that same step on the opposite side and i added a little bit more fix plus spray and look at that look at that shine look at that icy shine yes glam dolls this pigment is definitely worth y'all looking much into get it while you can so i'm gonna go back into the original palette and i'm gonna take the darkest shade right there and just focus that in on the outer v i'm only putting a little bit of this because this palette is very pigmented and a, a little bit is definitely going to go a long way and with a fluffy blending brush here is where i begin blending out my outer v to give it the semi smoky ice grape eye look that i'm going for so off camera, I applied my winged eyeliner and lashes. And I know in other makeup tutorials, you've seen YouTubers apply their concealer after doing a foundation. But I have my own technique called reverse highlighting and contour in which I'm about to show you. So I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder to help set that concealer underneath the areas of my eyes. And then once I complete that process, I'm going to now move into using my all-time fave, 
black radiance true complexion contour palette absolutely love this palette it has a pictorial that shows you exactly where you need to place the product now this is what i was talking about when i said my own technique with reverse highlighting and contouring i'm taking this palette and i'm going to contour out my cheek area as well as my forehead and that infamous jawline by reverse contouring and highlighting this way it gives me the most natural contoured look as you glam dolls will see once i pull this entire look together so now i'm gonna move into using my profusion cosmetics concealing palette now i'm using the peach concealer to conceal and take away that lurking shadow that seems to hover above my lip all the time and with my beauty blender dupe that's moist from dollar tree I'm blending it out and taking my MAC Cosmetics NC 45 and 50 mixed together and here is where I pull the whole look together. I'm going to start out by dabbing my entire face and I'm going to avoid underneath the areas of my eyes because I do want the highlighted look but not too highlighted so you're going to see how I do that last. But for the most part I'm blending my entire face pulling the whole look together and then I'm gonna stop and take my matte fix plus spritz my face just make sure I'm setting as I go then I'm gonna continue on blending and here is where I pat gently underneath the areas of my eyes and as you can see doing this technique reverse highlighting and contouring it keeps me with the natural looking highlighted look and contour look so here's the fun part now remember this was an eyeshadow I figured why not use it as a highlight yes dolls i'm taking this eyeshadow which is honeysuckle by la colors and with my fan brush i'm going to show you how this can be used as a highlight wait for it wait for it look at that glow look at that glow fantastic highlight glam dolls that's what i'm talking about there's no rules when it comes to makeup anyway because this was an eyeshadow and look at the gorgeous highlight that it is giving me and to say i only paid a dollar for it it is insane so now i'm gonna move forward with my fade blush by milani cosmetics rose to rio a little bit of this is going to go a long way because i really want the highlight look at that highlight i really want the highlight to be the center of attraction and I'm going to conclude my video by outlining my lips and then using the duo lipstick and lip gloss which is by LA Colors in the color called Natural. And once I apply the lip gloss this pretty much just um, concluded the look. Not bad huh? I'm absolutely loving that iced pigment. Let me give you a close up so you get a fair chance to see what it's looking like. Loving that highlight but here's the close up and voila. Yes. If you find LA Colors, pick it up, especially that highlight right there. Make sure we stay connected. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure that you check me out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll see you in another video. Later, dog. Focus that in my ends, and then I'm gonna, you know, distribute it through my hair, like what you are seeing. And to finish it off, I'm now going to take the Lustrous Paint Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Oil Sheen <laughs> Moisturizer. And I'm now going to just spray my hair with that. 